just heard that new BBL Drizzy, the diss, the bomb. I hold your head up, cut it off like Rick Ross and hold it up. Himalaya, Anastasia, Fantasia. <laughs> Cupcake, man, you looking bad. Looking bad, man. You might as well go on Maury Povich and tell your story. Go to Maury Povich. <laughs> I just want to make this clear, white boy, they said, you said, if you was f***ing girls, you promised you would have been arrested. Whoever wrote that for you should have put more thought into that. White boy, it's your writers. Whatever message you translated to them, that wasn't the way they were supposed to do that. And as a writer, when it comes got to remove yourself from that. White boy, that wasn't the, the line right there. Hey, white boy, I hear you. you you bowing out. It's obvious. You can't take it. You know ain't nobody playing a song about defending in the club. We don't do that. But this ain't over the Ricky Rose. Say, say it's over, right? Cause you tapping out, you tapping out, you know everybody see it. But like I said, we finna party tonight and it ain't over till the boss says so, you hear me? Listen, we keeping Drake away from the car show cause the kids are welcome. Nobody with that background, no, shall be allowed on the promised land premises. Boy, oh boy, do we have to talk. Last night, a bomb went off when Drake dropped the heart part six. Well, he says he set up the trap and he set up all these pieces of evidence for Kendrick to take the bait. And Kendrick actually took the bait. To be quite honest with you, this is gonna sound crazy. I don't know if I believe that because where's the evidence? Where is the proof? Can we see any receipts at all? That's all. We just want to see receipts, right? I, I have to remain unbiased. Where are the receipts from anybody? Because all I've heard is raps. And honestly, I'm not mad about it. But I mean, with Rick Ross, what, what he's saying here, I understand it. Um, I get it. You know, of course, Rick Ross is going to play his role. He's going to play his side, uh, the BBL Drizzy thing and all of that. But to be quite honest with you, here's what I think. And, and just bear with me. Get your popcorn. Yeah, gather around everybody. Okay, this is what I think. I think that Kendrick Lamar possibly knew about the mole and the fact that Drake was setting this up. And here's why I say that. Bear with me, bear with me. Hold on before you just jump to conclusions and you know try to jump in the comments. Let me explain why I think that. I think that because Kendrick Lamar called Drake a master manipulator okay and this literally proves his point you had so much time in a day to make up this whole lie to feed to kendrick to manipulate him well kendrick doesn't really even have to respond in my opinion but even if he did all he would have to do is prove the point of yeah you're a master manipulator you tried to manipulate me case closed right even if he admits to taking the bait he could he could literally say yeah i took the bait I took the bait on purpose to show that you're a master manipulator. Now, I don't know how that's going to go over for everybody. And to be quite honest with you, I don't think Kendrick needs to respond at all. I think Kendrick is good to go. Guys, that's as honest I, as I can be. I'm trying to be, you know, fair with both sides here. But yeah, this is just my opinion. The break for Drake and tell him, park that old ass plane. It's a 1978 the cargo jet. People gave it to him free for promo. And I ain't hating, but be safe, my nigga. If something was to happen to you and I couldn't tell you this, be safe. And anybody getting on it, be safe, man. Wear your seat belts and make sure the oxygen things in there because that shit was just for luggage. It wasn't for human beings. I got one more question for BBL Drizzy. One more question. How long you gonna stay on that plane? It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's a 1978 cargo plane wasn't built for humans. It's dangerous. Imagine the white boy with the soul plane. God! Imagine the white boy with the soul 
how that boy cats and I do. <laughs> hey, no, let's pray for Drake. Soul plane, come on, man. You rich. You deserve better. Now, let's talk about Rick Ross, okay? Let's talk about what just happened with his plane. You see, in the heart part six, Drake mentioned Rick Ross's jet. And if you don't know, Rick Ross's jet made a crash landing. I think it was in Miami. Maybe somebody can fact check me on that. But uh, yeah, so the fact that he's constantly talking about Drake's plane and making fun of Drake's plane and, you know, his plane has to make a crash landing. I'm sorry, guys. Like, am I the only one that finds that crazy? Like, am I the only one that finds that ironic? That's crazy. Watch this clip of Rick Ross talking about how Drake allegedly shot his plane down. So thank you, everybody, for all the prayers. But I'm going to tell you, we on the jet and I'm seeing the fighter jet. I see his nose. It's like Tom Cruise from um, Top Gun. I seen his nose. I'm seeing him in the cockpit. And I'm like, damn. I see his cheeks and nose going back from the G-Force. I'm like, damn. And then, hey man, it happened. You know what I'm saying? I can't say what happened, but it happened. Come on, white boy. White boy. Come on, man. But I'm gonna tell you something. What I'm gonna take back about Drake Old Plane, BBL Drizzy, I know you got the ashtrays and the armrest and the hindsight. That's really dope. Like, you know, some smoking shit, you know. But we safe, everybody. Now, obviously, I don't believe that Drake shot Rick Ross's plane down. Come on. I, I mean, you know, let, let's just get real here, right? But again, the fact that you sat here on social media, on Instagram, posting story after story, making fun of Drake's plane, I, I, I would not like to say it's poetic justice because I think that's terrible. And honestly, that's... I mean, I don't wish that on anybody. That's a scary situation. Like, but the fact that you just got out of a plane crash and the first thing you talk about is Drake, that's actually nuts. I wouldn't even be thinking about another man. Okay, so is it just me? Drop in the comments below, please. I, I don't know if this is just me. Put in the comments below if it's just me that thinks that is wild to me. Okay guys, so here's where I'm at with all of this. Yeah, I need to see those receipts from Drake and Kendrick, okay? First of all, Drake is saying that, you know, Dave Free is the father to Kendrick Lamar's child. Okay, cool, but how can we prove that? And then same thing with, you know, Kendrick Lamar saying Drake has a child, how can we prove that? So as of right now, I still have Kendrick, you know, winning because I'm gonna be honest with you, that last track was a bop, okay? But yeah, I mean, other than that, if Kendrick can't prove this stuff, I don't know, That's uh, that doesn't look that good. I'm gonna be honest, but again, Kendrick is always 10 steps ahead. So in my opinion, I, I think he's gonna explain it and, and it's gonna make sense, but maybe not, who knows, right? So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Make sure you slap the like button and hit about the subscribe button. Until next time, 